What's up, y'all? I'm Whit Piker, and today we're in Panama City Beach, Florida, stop two of the cheap mail train, and we're at a place called Juan Tacos. Now, Juan and Martina Martinez take great pride in this place, and in the last three years, they've won numerous awards for at Best of the Bay. He's a graduate from the Culinary Institute of America in New York. This is some great tacos, and who doesn't love tacos? And today you're gonna to see us eat La Familia style. The whole cheat meal family is gonna to eat together just like it's Thanksgiving or something. It's cheat meal time, y'all. This is one taco. We're gonna go check it out. So we're here at Juan Taco, and this is, what's your name? Taylor. 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 Hi. Gosh, she left me hanging on there, isn't it? And this is Juan Martinez. Juan, come over here and talk to me for a minute. So give me a little bit of your background, your story. How you ended up here, what happened? Give me, give me what brought you to this place. So I was in the circus for a long time, and I just washed up here as a hobo. That's right. <laughs> I was in the circus as well. No, I was in the Navy. Um, I, was in the, I was in the Navy for 10 years. Oh yeah, And cool. I got stationed here, and um, Kind of just stuck around. This place has like a, a way of like just keeping you here. That's right. Once you've been here. So I stayed here for a little bit, got out of the Navy, went to New York, went to the Color Institute of America, graduated from there, moved back Let's here. Let's just pause right there. When you think of the Harvard of for chefs, that's, right. that's the Culinary Institute of America in New York. That's that's the creme de la creme. It's more like Hogwarts. Maybe. That's oh. And just kind of stuck around. We got a job, you know, a nice fancy job on 30A. Have you been in 30A area yet? No. It's like a really like, you know, high end they, strip. They probably wouldn't welcome me there, probably. I did like, yeah, I don't know, who knows? You know, it was, uh, it was really fun and everything, but really high stress. That's right. High pace, and uh, after my wife and I had our first baby, we're like, we need something more chill, just like, you know, calm down. And everybody loves tacos, tacos are easy. Tacos are easy. Delicious. So, everybody loves tacos. It was great, it was great. So yeah, we just made the transition and we opened up this place two years ago. And we're going on our third year now, and it's just, you know, just chill, man. Thank you so much for having us. And we're going to have some awesome food today. In a minute, we're going to go into the kitchen and show you kind of how he does what he does, because he's the man. Yeah, we have some pork belly today. Super good. What? It's the belly of a pork. And we're going to eat it. So pork, no, pork belly is seriously my favorite. Like, when I saw it's it really the, on, on your Instagram, like, there was, like, a little bit of a drool. There's, like, a lot, so of, people, there's a lot of people that don't expect it. I mean, it's not a typical taco, like, thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we just uh, hey, it can be. I don't know. It's not. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk about it. Dad joke. Oh, <laughs> nobody will ever hear it. We're, we're super pumped. We always say we're going to the epicenter where all the magic happens. So where are we gonna go? Yeah, sure, we're gonna go all the way to the kitchen. All the way to the kitchen. And follow me, guys. Okay. And we're in the kitchen now. Oh. And uh, you thirsty? Are you all right? I'm good. You good? All right. It's a long, it's a long walk. It is long. So here's our kitchen. I don't. I say this because I just bought a stove off of Craigslist for a couple hundred bucks, and that's our kitchen, pretty much. If the food's good, it doesn't yeah. matter. You know I mean, what I'm saying? She's a shitty little stove. That's right. Let's go. So, uh, so here's some pork belly. You guys can be eating here a second. Look at that. Obviously, I'm going to give you some deep uh, behind the scenes uh, information. Pork belly comes from uh, it's a, the it's belly of a pork. This is actually ostrich. <laughs> it's ostrich meat. Ostrich meat. It's, super, it's from Russia. It's super cheap. No, but yeah, you're right. Pork belly comes this from guy. Pork belly is an Austrian word. It's an Austrian word for Austrian. That's right. So yeah, you're right. This is uh, from the belly of a pig. And normally it's used to make bacon. That's like, you know, the That's right. thing to make it from. Uh, here, what we do, instead of like curing it that long, we just, we rub it down. We cook it in the oven for about three or four hours. So it gets nice and tender. We cool it down overnight. And then we just cut it up like lardons, like really thick cubes. And we crisp it up a little bit. So what you end up with is like the outside's nice and, um, nice and crisp. And the insides should be nice and like soft. Let me just pause and say, you know somebody's uh, good oh, when they just do that one little trick thing that they do. Oh, Let's do that one more time. Let's... Slow mo. Slow mo. Jay, can you slow mo that? Absolutely. Blue de mo de So yeah, this is like the this is what everybody comes here for. I only do this once a week on Wednesdays. Oh yeah, but you yeah, did it special I did for, for us. You guys. Yeah, of course, absolutely. Let's hug it out. Oh. Oh, 
You smell nice. Thank you. I showered yesterday. It's that fireball, man. That's right. It's got me all riled up. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so, so we're going to have all sorts of, what are we going to have today? What are you going to give the, fat, the cheat meal family? So today? you guys are going to have our nachos, our veggie nachos. So the veggie nachos, it's a veggie mix that I make. Right. We use it for our tacos, veggie burritos, anything that the vegetarian wants. It's sweet potato, um, Brussels sprouts, squash, what? zucchini, uh, what else I put in there? Corn. And it's just, and I, it's almost like a veggie chorizo. Yeah. Really the way I flavor it a little bit. It's crazy. So it's got some mushrooms. It's got a little bit of meatiness to it, but um, it's not just like typical like peppers and onions, you know. You're right, right, right. You might find somewhere, or mushrooms. Right. So it's got a little more substance to it. It's a little sweet, a little like savory because the sweet potatoes. That's right. So it's pretty good. So we're going to start with nachos for that guy. Um, goat cheese, a lot of other stuff goes on those nachos. That's crazy. And then Sounds we'll go so with a couple of tacos for you guys. Uh, we have chicken, we got shrimp, we got some uh, I tell you what. beef, we got the pork belly, obviously. Let me tell you about this, this cheat meal family. Yeah. You bring it out there, we're going to eat it. Will it will be gone. Uh, it will be gone. So nice. thank you so much for having us. We're so excited to be here. Wait, thank you so very much. Very nice to meet you guys. It's awesome. This guy is the man. He's going to be famous one day. He's going to be, I can see him on all sorts of YouTube, TV, everything. I have a, uh, a huge following in Scandinavia. Scandinavia. And believe it or not, what? I'm a knee model in Scandinavia. See, I told you. My photos. Show us, show us those knees. Oh my God. Those knees. If you go to my Facebook page, Ooh. you will see all sorts of knee shots. <laughs> I'm trying to make it a thing. That's right. But nobody I did see that. Nobody wants my fucking knees. You're so awesome. Please buy my knees. You're so awesome. I love this guy. All right, guys, you guys make hey, yourself at home? Wait, did we just become best friends? Maybe. You wait, wait, hold on. You want to go do we karate should. in the garage? Uh, I love doing karate. Well, I have a, I have a stick. I, I don't even know what that means. I don't. I don't even know what that means. This is the house-made habanero salsa. I'm just gonna take a little. Can I do my finger in the thing? Is that too much? I think you should do a little more. Oh yes. Oh <laughs> yeah, no, it's instant. It's instant. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Can I say that? No, you can't. <laughs> no. Oh, that's hot. Well, Dang. no, it's not. It's I'm not in like... my English ways. Here, get this. Oh, say, <laughs> where's my puppy? <laughs> Sorry. Get, get, go ahead and get some of that, Jay. Jay? We'll pass it around. <laughs> it's not over the top, what? It's Spanish. It's basically. It's not over the top. I'm scared. It's not that bad. I'm scared. Oh, I think it's not. No, what was shocking was how instant it was. I'm so used to it. It is right away. Oh god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a little much. That's really good though. Like the flavor is really good. That's hot. I just got used to eating that. That, I, did, I did too much. I did too much. I did too much. I did too much. No, but no, like a few drops, like on top of this, or like with the pork belly, like Ooh, it's gonna be so much. good. Or with like a little. I did too much. How much did you I did do? Too much. It does I did have too a much. good flavor though. It has a really good Ooh, flavor. I did too much. That'd be good in a Bloody Mary. Mm. I don't know why I'm thinking that, but I think it would be really good. It wouldn't be. Like rims? It really would. Or like, yeah, if you like, on death row. Like the celery. I did too or much. Like with the, no, I don't eat celery. I did too much. Why? I did too. Ooh, I did too much. It's really a weird flavor. I did too much. And there's dessert too, so. Oh wow! Oh, thank you so thank much. You. So, so explain to us a, what we got a here. Veggie quesadilla. Right. Veggie nachos. These are shrimp tacos. There's a pork belly. Mm -hmm. Another pork belly. Mm -hmm. Beef and a chicken. Ah. Yeah. And then there's dessert coming too. So. Thank you. Perfect. And uh, you know, honestly, one. I don't. This is like your your thing. Where like you know you've lost a lot of weight. Yeah. You eat healthy. You work out. You you hit it hard. There's a lot of people here that come here. That this is their one cheat meal a week. That's see. That's what we do. Where they're like yeah. Where that's what like, we do. They're like listen. I've been saving up all week. Just all my here. carbs. Everything. That's what we do. Just to come here. And that's have the this. whole concept yeah. of our show. That's right. Right. We, right. That's awesome. So it, it works out perfectly. It's like, and you, honestly. I do pork belly on Wednesdays, and they're like, that's what I come and I have. I splurge on my calories, right. I splurge on everything. That's so, awesome. Yeah, you guys enjoy? We're gonna tear it up. Thank you. This quesadilla is really good. Here's the deal quesadilla is two words it's quesa, which means cheese, dia, which is slang for dude. Did you know that? So quesadilla literally means 
cheese, dude. That's good, right? And this, this is good. This quesadilla is good. It's a veggie quesadilla. Mm. That's really good. Incredible. That's good stuff. So we got here, we got tacos. Burritos. <laughs> tacos, burritos. Just Look just what's in my speedo. Yeah, no, it is really That's good. That's awesome. Sorry, I don't um, we got tacos, we got quesadillas, we got nachos. I'm putting habaneros all summer. Of course, Americans, uh, there's been a resurgence of the taco. It's been, um, Americans eat 4.5 billion tacos a year. Um, mm -hmm. The majority of those eaten on Tuesday. Taco <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> taco Tuesday. Whatever. So, um, it's it's a very popular, we, you've heard me talk about the, the history of tacos. Um, it, it happened back way with the Mayan Indians. In Mexico, can we just talk um, about this tofu for a second? But this is this is some good food here at Juan Paco in Panama City Beach, Florida. It's good it's stuff. Crispy. We're gonna eat all okay. this. It's cheat meal family Thanksgiving taco dinner, y'all. How many guests this to be? That. Whose taco is this? It was mine, but you can have it because I can't eat it. I'm so excited. All right, it's so, so it's good. a banana Nutella quesadilla. Wow. What? Goodness. Oh my delicious. gosh. Stop it. So good. It's almost like a buñuelo, but mm -hmm. like not. So, what exactly is a buñuelo? I don't know. <laughs> Why are you trying to <laughs> I just wanted to say fancy words. You wanted to sound really old, Jake, and you graduated from a culinary institute. You guys would be like, completely <laughs> made up the word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, look how educated they are. You need to agree with us. Most of them are like, I don't want to be stupid. What's it mean? Yeah, no, we are not that people. We're like, what are you talking about? We're all so about like a, weird fun facts It's like a fried, like a flour tortilla that gets like puffed up. Yeah. Well, I don't have a fryer here, so I just like put those in the flat. They make them like quesadilla. Mm -hmm. So it gets like a little crispy. We're gonna too. pass these out. And then I just dust them with some powdered sugar or some uh, for the fam. Sugar. Oh. Every oh, everybody like in the fam. It tastes like Christmas. It, is, it tastes like Christmas. Will you be here I bet, for our first? I bet if you have that with a fireball shot, Santa Claus will come. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, here, so. I'll get it in just a second. Look at All the right. mess I got. That habanero is pretty tasty. Um, it's no, so it was good. Weird. I wasn't ex expecting it. It was so abrupt. It's got a kick. Let me just explain. Yeah. Is this, what is this exactly again? So it's a banana and Nutella quesadilla. It's banana like, that's our one dessert Nutella that we have quesadilla. here. Oh, Elvis! Yeah, is it, oh, he's banana and mayonnaise, right? Yeah, I don't even know. My wife just said stuff. Elvis. And Nutella wasn't even invented when Elvis. No, he, that, he eats like. Uh, banana, it was banana, banana peanut butter. Yeah, banana peanut butter, yeah. Yeah. I don't was, know why I said mayonnaise. I thought it was banana peanut butter and honey. Yeah. No, it was mayo. There's mayo yeah, on mayo, it. Yeah, mayo, yeah. yeah. Let's go with mayo. That's even worse. That fits my thing. Good. Oh, Juan. Wow. So, yeah, I had that on the menu wow. and I took it off because um, I didn't have room to keep up with business to do that and the tacos. There's, there's, so people you know, there's so a, pissed a, that the perfect combination of the banana and the Nutella, yeah, and then there's brown sugar yeah, well, and cinnamon like, and, and, and regular sugar on top of that, just, right just right white convection so sugar. And it's got that crunch like like a quesadilla has. But man, it's, it's got like the greatest so flavor. Clean. You can't go wrong here. A lot of people come to Panama City Beach for vacation. But if you come here, you really need to try one taco. It's amazing. Everything they have is so good. You can't believe how fresh everything is and how great everything tastes. And we're just getting started. We got three more places to go. Stay tuned. All right, guys. I'll see y'all later. Boom.